You won't believe how much anesthesia has transformed surgery. Stay tuned to find out. Alright, picture this. You're counting backward from 10, and before you know it, you're waking up in recovery. Anesthesia might seem like magic, but it's actually a lot more complex than just sleep. Let's dive into the history first. Ancient Egyptian, Asian, and Middle Eastern cultures used opium, mandrake, and alcohol to dull pain. Fast forward to the 19th century, and we get the first common general anesthetic, diethyl ether. But don't worry, today's options are much safer. There are three main types of anesthesia, regional, general, inhalational, and general intravenous. Regional anesthesia blocks signals in a specific body part. General inhalational anesthesia, like sevoflurane or laughing gas, affects your entire nervous system. And the intravenous kind? Think sedatives like propofol and opioids like fentanyl. So, how do these anesthetics work? Regional anesthetics bind to proteins and neurons, blocking nerve impulses. Ever heard of cocaine being used? Yep, but not anymore due to its addictive properties. General anesthetics, on the other hand, act on GABA receptors in the brain, causing unconsciousness and pain relief. Now let's not forget the superheroes, the anesthesiologists. These specialists monitor your vital signs and adjust drug mixtures during surgery. Their precision enables complex, life-saving operations like C-sections, artery repairs, and organ transplants. So next time you think about surgery, remember the incredible role of anesthesia. It's transformed medicine, making once-impossible procedures a reality and saving countless lives.